stocking stuffers. You know, it's yeah. we do a couple. Of, you know, uh, it. I'm always on the lookout for inexpensive holiday gifts for you know amateur radio um, friends, amateur radio family, things like that. You know, we do. You know, I've never of, gotten a stocking stuffer from you, Michael. You've Just gotten white elephants. You've got you've gotten white elephants from me. Yeah, I you know I got ticky tie bobs too, but we're not going <laughs> to talk about those. <laughs> Thank you, Kim Michael. Why is it ticking? <laughs> Why is it ticking? <laughs> Don't cut the red so, wire. Yeah. So we kind of looked around and found a, a few um, kind of ideas that um, might be good to, um, you know, if you're looking for an inexpensive gift for a ham radio buddy, if you're looking for stocking stuffers for hams or mm -hmm. things like that. And um, I think the first thing that well, I came maybe up with the XYL in your life or an xyl you know is for for cheap for cheap gifts that um are ham friendly i think you know you get you don't have to you don't have to go down any any further than your local harbor freight because you know i found things like um heat shrink tubing you need heat shrink guys really do you need shrink terminals look at this 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 thing is Ooh. Full of you're, you're getting me right here. Each <laughs> internet terminal, and of course, grommets. <laughs> and these things are life only a isn't life without a good grommet, my friend. <laughs> you know, these things are only a few bucks. If you're going, if you're going to um, you know your ham club's holiday party and you need a white elephant gift, <laughs> there you go. Um, another favorite is um step drill bits um i think i got one that's out of the package you know these are like only 12 bucks so um now joe i know you kind of had a couple here too so right yeah so i had a couple um first of all i i, I also like tools uh, so uh for like six bucks on amazon these little uh heiko uh plush cut uh, pliers right here i got a pair of these and i use it everything from electronics work to cutting zip ties, to uh, once in a GIF, I even yeah. trim my toenails with it. There um, you go. You know, because I had like one of those toenails I was catching on my sock. I'm like, I, I need to yep. trim this thing now. And that's uh, perfect. Uh, the flush cut is real nice. So if you have like a regular pair of wire cutters, they always leave a little bit there. Mm -hmm. these, are, these are flush. So, you know, if you cut a zip tie, it cuts it right off at the head of it. Oh, they're Love beautiful. Them. Yeah. And uh, Heiko is a pretty good brand, actually. They make some yep. really, really, really good um, soldering stations. Mm -hmm. uh, if, you, if you get a chance, just, you know, and they're not terribly expensive. Like for a hundred bucks or so, you can get a really good soldering station for a for your ham workbench. Um, yeah. But these little, these little things are great for doing ham radio or even just regular uh, uh, arts and crafts stuff. You know, don't let the wife see them because she'll take them for the. Oh, first. then you'll you'll lose them for good. That's right. But if you look there, you could buy like a six pack. You could buy these damn things in bulk. So oh, get actually, the wife a three one. pack, a three pack for seventeen ninety nine. I'm in it, and then there yeah, give go. one to her, and you there keep you one, one, in the... one to Christina, one to each of the kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then no, you don't got to get anything else that maybe roll a duct tape. <laughs> You know, duck, actually, that's a that's another great stocking stuffer. Stuffer, you know, throw a. For the past twenty years, every year I get a roll of duct tape for my dad. I got like ten rolls of duct tape in my toolbox. You need some duct get tape? A, I got some. Well, get a couple of these um, rolls of Scotch Thirty Three Plus. Oh, and um, I have an no, old supply. Of you, that. you, yeah, you, yeah, you've. I'll always use Scotch Thirty Three for electrical tape. If you use anything else, I'll slap you upside the head. <laughs> everything, else thing, just, everything else is just crap another thing you suggested was the um uh the craft form compact pouch set and this is a little a little bitty multi-driver that looked really yeah. neat so, so we're as a german brand um and they make some crazy good screwdrivers guys like um i i don't like to endorse screwdriver porn but these are really sexy guys. <laughs> um, I've been using Vera for a while. Um, I got I got a set of like six coming uh, tomorrow. Uh, but I saw these like this is for thirty five bucks, and we just had the video about the um, the, the parts box, right? Mm -hmm. And 
have one of these in your parts box. Holy crap. You know, this and maybe a pair of um, uh, a Leatherman's tool, and you can take just take care of just about anything, right? You know, actually, what I really like are the Nipex pliers. Oh, dude. Yeah. And... Don't even... Yeah, get rid of that channel lock stuff. I got the Nipix player. In fact, hold on. hold on. You got one. Let me find got... yeah, let me see if I can find the one I like. Um this little itty bitty one right here. If you can come back onto the screen here. This thing right here. Oh yeah. Those are some hot players. Yeah. There we oh, go. Hey, there it is. So <laughs> these are only like six five inches, maybe. It's a little yeah. one. Yeah. But anything like up to like a nine sixteenth is done. You can take care of that real quick. Actually, I've used these on like half inch and three uh, three quarter inch lock nuts, okay. and it's great. And they have the way they're designed; they will bite into just about anything once you get onto them. So have one of these as well. Keep one in the car, right? There you go. So, you know, because remember, this is SAE and metric guys. It's just about. <laughs> <laughs> um, they're, they're a little pricey. Uh, I'm they not going to lie, but they're the, the worth it. Inch, right? I, I guess just, I beat the ever living crap out of them. These are the locking ones. The locking ones are the ones I really like um, because they've got an extra mechanism in them that oh, yeah. turns that turns this into a um, like a like an open end box wrench. Yeah, the so. mafia guys use those for breaking fingers. What? Uh, I was supposed to say that. <laughs> They will grip on anything, though. Well, really well. I'm going to throw this into... I got a list going. Um, if you're looking for these these kind of stocking stuffers, uh, let me see if we can pull this up here. Um, of course, now it's... I've been building a list, and I'm going to throw this into the chat. Uh, you'll find my um, list of, of amateur radio gear that's... Um, some other things you might want to consider, uh, the Pocket Ref, um, cute little book. Um, it's got everything you need to know. Um, you could restart society with this book. It's, it's, it's that good. So. Oh, really? After we break it down, <laughs> you want to restart it? <laughs> um, these are my favorite. Um, let's see if I can get them pulled up here uh bongo ties oh bongo ties yeah another great little stocking stuffer um better than you know uh better than velcro uh they're elastic and um oh i thought you could say better than sex well they might be too well it's, that's that's a little weird but okay <laughs> so uh check those out KB9 VBR antennas are simple, effective, and affordable VHF and UHF antennas for amateur radio, MERS, public safety, and GMRS. Made in the USA with quality parts. Get yours online at jpole-antenna.com.